All right, so guys, thanks for joining me for today's video. Today I have a special guest. Uh, Billy Forte is going to be doing the yoga warm up with us. So today we're going to be going through days one through five of the chair yoga 22 and 22 series. So if you are ready or if you need to go grab a chair, pause the video, but then come right back to me. And if you're ready, here we go. All right, Billy. So let's get in chair mountain pose. We're going to sit tall in the chair with a space between you and the back. Yeah. And we're going to bring our arms up and around. Breathe in as you go up and then breathe out as you come down. Okay, guys, and if you could do just one side of that, it's going to look like this. Go breathe in and then breathe out as you come back down. Let's do that one more time. So breathe in and then out as you bring your hands down to your lap. Okay, so that is day one. Day two, we're going to get our hands clasped together if they need to, or you can open those fingers and have them in prayer pose. You're gonna press lightly palm to palm. So you're engaging your arms and your chest. And we're gonna bring our prayer just above our foreheads. Keep pressing in as you do this and then back down. We're gonna do this two more times. All right, guys, so bring up and Back down. Remember, if they need to clasp your hands, do that as well. Bring it up and then back down. Okay, so day number three is going to be the shoulder rolls. So we'll do those next. And so hands in your lap. And we're going to bring our shoulders, go back. We're going to do five on each. So, well, on each side, each direction. So that was two, here's three. There's four and five. And now we're gonna switch sides. How's it going so far, Billy? Amazing, yeah. Good, okay, so let's do five, go in the other direction. Great. One, two, three, or I noticed my affected side doesn't move quite as much. So I'm really trying to accentuate that movement. How about you, Billy? I'm great. Awesome. Okay, so now we're up to day number four. So we're gonna cross one leg over the other leg and we're gonna be pointing and flexing our foot. So that's working all the muscles in the ankle, in the feet, and even if you are doing it passively, just with the hands, it is still working the muscles. And I know Billy wears an AFO and he took it off for this exercise so he can get some work with those feet and ankles. So are you ready, Billy? Yes, I'm ready. All right, so let's point that foot mm -hmm. and then bring it to flex and point it again and flex. Let's do this a couple more times. So there's a point of flex. Ballerina point. move. What? It's a ballerina move. It is, it is, but it's also a move for stroke because moving those ankle and the and especially if you're in an AFO for most of the day, that area gets no strengthening. Well, it's, like so, it's like a wooden but, leg, basically. Yeah, and yeah. when you take it off, what happens? <laughs> it's good, though. See, basically, the it, it seems like it gives me support. So when I'm on it a long time, it's strong because it's like a wooden leg. But, but I, I can take it off and walk with it. But what I found is it um, seems to get tired, the leg. So I, I'm thinking if I was to keep it off for maybe an hour and then put it back on to get it stronger, that would be great. 
Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And doing a point and a flex when it's off for that hour mm -hmm. would be great for working those muscles. Right. Exactly. All right. So we're done with that side. Now let's go to the other foot and we'll do some pointing and flexing. So go ahead and point and flex. Point it and flex. Point, flex, do this two more times. So there's one point and a flex. And last one, point and flex. Okay, so we are up to day number five's exercise. And now this one is a clasped hand exercise. So both of us have our hands clasped in front of us. We're gonna raise this up above our heads and then we're gonna lean into our side. Now you don't wanna lean so far that you feel off balance, but you do wanna lean enough into that side to work that core, those oblique muscles. So with our hands above your head, you can exhale as you lean to the side, inhale as you get straight ahead, or straight, excuse me, straight up, and then Exhale and inhale as you come up. And if you can't bring your arms above your head, this is an exercise where you can have your hands down at the side as well. So we'll do the last two like that. So lean into that side and then inhale and come to center. Exhale, lean. And then inhale as you go to center. Last one on each side. So there's exhale and then inhale and exhale. Inhale as you come back to center. And basically, okay. if, you feel, if you feel unstable, you can hold the bottom of the chair so you can go, go over further, you're not gonna fall. That's why I, I, I you know. Is that what you do? No, no, I'm just, I, I noticed that, that, you know, that would be something that suppose somebody can't um, do this, then they could basically hold the chair and they, they won't go. So they, you know. that, that's a perfect, perfect modification. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, exactly. If and if, even if you don't want to go too far, just holding the chair can give you a little bit of stability so right. you're, you're comfortable doing this exercise. Right. That, that was very good. That, that, well, yeah, and I didn't time us, but that's a little chair yoga warm-up. I feel like a new year. So what do you think, Billy? That was good. I think it was very good. I think that awesome. um, if you do that well, every day, I think it'll improve your balance. It'll improve your body strength. And yeah, flexibility and, and, you know, it seems like it may All right, be. well, so that's it for this special yoga warm-up video. But Billy's going to join me again for another video. We're going to do days 6 through 11. Okay, thank, thank you so much, much Billy. Thank you, Michelle. It was great. All right, bye.